the slums. Here we go. Was good. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what'd you do, dude? Oh, shit. What did he just do? Oh, what the hell? There's people here. Wait, don't. Oh, run! You know they're definitely bringing somebody here. He's like, Sire! He's here! He's coming! Now, what in the ghost of Tsushima is that, bro? Lord Raiden. Looking in. If you're gonna kill me, you might as well. I ain't got no weapons. All that for a cat. You gotta be kidding me. Here, let me let me touch you, bro. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. You're welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. Whoa, whoa. I mean, as long as you got fish, I mean, tuna. I mean, you think I would eat you guys like that? I mean, you guys are robotic for God's sakes. Probably will start beatboxing for a second. Like, oh, hell yeah. It is okay, everybody. It is okay. You can come out now. I'm going to hurt you. I'm not going to touch you. Lord Raiden has approved me. You look lost. What do you need? Picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This elevator is an operation. Everybody knows that it's impossible to use place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Let's go meet Momo. That was fast. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not Momo. These circles of light are pleasing in the watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Here, check this out, bro. Momo told me he'd get me there one day. Oh, nice little cozy time for bed. Time to sleep. that face oh what's this Actually reading. Rick jamming this shit right now. Fuck your couch. Fuck your couch. 
excuse my own language, but it just feels so right to say this right now. All right, let me stop. enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. So we found the keys. Alright. A bunch of books, huh? So there's a safe around here somewhere. Oh, don't go to sleep there. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a really lazy cat. That's all I got to say. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm intrigued in finding that, that, uh, that safe, yo. Where are you? Hey, it's you. Do you look weird and small? But there's something about you. I feel compelled to you pet you, but I won't because I understand why. I don't understand why. Here. Here, what is this? So what do you do then? I don't want to know about the outsider. Too resigned to do anything. And then there's the outsiders. You can imagine how they feel. Well, there's only Momo now. Momo this, Momo that. That must be Momo. Damn. Looks really upset. Hey, little buddy. Want me to get? That's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you, what do you want? Hey, uh, do you know anything about this? Do you want to go there? It's the time I will bring you only lonely to spare. My friends had their stream too, but now they're gone. I'm all alone. I don't really need to try to content them, but that transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took into our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. I got a book. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It is signed Clementine, Balthazar, Doc, and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Outsiders. Oh, okay, so all my controls got messed up. So now we're playing backwards. Oh, what's that? Sorry, Momo. I'm on a mission with a paper bag now. What does this say? All right, slow down. I can't read all that. <laughs> the silly has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. Oh, so we're like in a damn can. 
This reminds me a lot of these uh, movies that we see on TV. Let me go. Yo, turn it off. Thanks. Oh, I like that song. Just the one on the notebook. So you want me to go in there? That seems like a lead. Okay, makes sense. I was there moments ago, but let's see. Outside our notebook, it's the same logo as Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown. Apparently, it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Cool. So now I'm notebook hunting. Let's go. You see that symbol? That's what the notebook is. Oh, yeah, that was the safe thing. I didn't collect the book here, did I? safe. Looks like it's one of the books. Yes. Found it. Nice work. Another notebook. It seems we belong to someone named Doc. It says after weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks in our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Let's find the other notebooks. Alright, so that makes three. Where could the other one be? Is it that one over there? I think for that one, we might have to come up here. Go through here. Oh. So say... Ventilation power supply. Oh, okay, cool. Take this out. That thing dies. It's that book. Hold on. Oh, wait. Is it this one? Right? Yes. <laughs> and I was about to leave. <laughs> this one seems to belong to someone named Baltazar. Whole trees of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at a concealed rate as if being locked in this city wasn't hard. Oh, there's also a note in this book. It says, I found the design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. It, if it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Okay, 
Okay, so the only way out of here is through here. Okay, now we can drop down. Hey, who are you, by the way, dude? Okay, cool. Bye, Mito. Let's go back up here. Yeah, my dude, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm following all your books, dude. Well, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? That's incredible. This means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Come on, Ty. Walter's our doc. I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I promise I'll find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might find... We might be able to find a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk. Receiver. Transceiver. So this man had a radio. Well, this robot had a radio to communicate with the surface. Apparently, we're like inside a trash can. Or a can. <laughs> and voila. It works. Come with me. Anyway, hold on. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install a transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. You're the only one small and quick to evade the Zerks. We need you. Okay. Let's go. Shit, so he's telling me to go up there? Fuck. Alright. 